Why are they boiling in a London tub? Really hard, man. Right on? Oh, see, see, what one piece? Why are you coming in the morning to the London yard kitchen? And then over there, I got some sardfish fritters. See, and my way, I'm going to show them with my way. You know, and maybe you will like it that same way. You see me, I say so. So sit back, relax, surface fritters, the land and the other way, see. And uh, remember, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. You know, leave a comment also if you know what you think about the recipe. See, now, also remember, you know, follow my music, um, land and the other, ask her, anywhere in the world, let us know what it is. You see me, I said, so big up on yourself, sit back, relax, and take in Oh, me do my thing. So okay, um, let's get the fritter ready. And we do so by boiling the salt fish to reduce the salt. You know, so we probably we probably boil it about two times for about five to ten minutes each time and try to get most of the salt out of it. Cause you don't want a salty fritters. After that we'll pick the salt fish in small pieces. Um, to add to the flour to form the paste for the fritter so here we have the vegetables that we'll add to the flour so we'll add about two teacups of flour that should be enough and then we'll add a chopped onion chopped spring onion chopped pepper chopped tomato you know we had some garlic and some fresh thyme and then now we had the picked saltfish smallly picked up and then we add a teaspoon of garlic powder very important for flavor and um, some vegetable seasoning about half a teaspoon and a egg so we'll mix everything together you know we're gonna try to get it evenly across the flour so you have the right proportion you know spread right across then we add room temperature water but we'll add the water gradually so we try to return the flour with the water together you know we're forming a paste you know so you had more water you don't want it to make one go and then is it too soft because that won't work so you should end up with something looking like this what we'll have now is better pack curry sorry so uh, half a teaspoon and then we'll add a teaspoon of chili flakes for a little spice and then add some black pepper to give it that you know little zest and then it's do the same thing evenly mix everything together but that's your um, paste ready so here we have the hile ready not too hot and then we had we'll spoon the paste into the hile So here we had one, two, had a third one, and we might can fit a fourth one inside the frying pan. Let's see. Yes, we can. So we add the fourth one. So we we, we fry four fritters at a time, and then look at that. Isn't that looking lovely? Talk it out, man. <laughs> look good don't it yeah man so we'll fry each side for about seven minutes so seven minutes on each on each side then you turn it over so we'll do it seven on this one and then turn it over on the next seven and that should give you a perfectly fried uh, fritters so here's the other side turn over all 
golden brown little curry vibes tonight so we'll take it out now and get the excess oil off and then you should end up with perfectly fried fritters saltfish fritters with a curry twist looking like this isn't this lovely yeah man nice 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 so i hope you enjoy hope you try this hope it work for you so there you have it this is my tree for it done so like this garlic fried fritters in a steel see so as we say in jamaica obey naga naga